This is my 1952 Ford F3. It was uh, left abandoned in a field in Sedalia, Colorado. Yeah, it took me three years to build. Uh, I call it a Rusto Mod. Some nice updated features, but kept the original patina. You can see there, a little door art. Bob the frame uh, 12 inches off the rear. And of course, upgraded the motor. It's got a uh, 351 Windsor, actually a Ford 5.8 liter out of a 1995 F-150, which I rebuilt. Ford 30 over, flat top pistons, headers, etc., etc. Been a super fun project, gets lots of smiles everywhere I go. And I've really enjoyed driving it as well as building it. Custom flatbed. As you can see, here's an interesting tidbit. In 1952, the state of Colorado did not issue license plates because of the war. So they added those little tags to plates from 51. So I was able to score that from the collector. And if you look at the door art, Socrates Produce, trucking, in just the right light, you can see it says Rat Rod Truck. Thank you. So the nickname for the truck is Fang. You can see there, that's the hood safety latch. There's my 5.8. Disc brake conversion. Obligatory spotlight, custom running boards, which match the custom flatbed, both with decking material. I do plan to use this truck in the mountains. So I've got pull out shelves on both sides for storage. This is kind of a cool feature here. This is an old film canister from back in the day, radio pictures. Of course, flush mount toolbox, super handy for storage, groceries, etc. Jerry can. The Dewey came out of an 80s F350. Got the matching patina jack there. You can see the interior. I did kind of a mix between the old and the new. Inside. Gauges, check engine light, low fuel, high beams. There's the trusty air conditioning, of course. Got uh, Bluetooth, radio, E4OD with overdrive, uh, heated seats, backup camera. That's the original uh, Five Star Deluxe heater. This is kind of a fun touch. This was the original dome light. I just converted it to a little LED map light. And uh, get me started. <laughs>